Iglesia Oasis, bendiciones. En este momento vamos a escuchar otra historia de las tantas que hemos descubierto aquí en nuestra Iglesia Oasis. Un miembro más de la familia Oasis que en algún momento de su vida fue impactado por el mensaje que predicamos día tras día aquí en nuestra región y por la cual muchos de nosotros hemos sido alcanzados y bendecidos. Es una historia poderosa. Te invito a que la escuches atentamente y de una vez te doy gracias porque es tu ayuda y colaboración lo que hace posible que vidas como esta sean alcanzadas. My name is Jerry Lopez and I'm from New York. Oasis has been right now my stepping ground. Um, me and my wife got here through Patricia who invited us over here when we moved to this side of, of Orlando. And um, we've, we've enjoyed it very much. Here in, o in, in Oasis it's been great to see the way everybody treats me, everybody's family the hugs, the kisses that I get from everyone, even the youngsters, to be able to shake their hands and talk to them and say hi, it's been great. You know, it's an awesome thing to do. My wife's been gone now for uh, three years. Um, it's hard, it's hard because when you have your loved ones and you don't have them around no more, it's hard to, you know, not have them there no more, helping you out, pushing you forward to do the things you can do. As you know, uh, after, I think it wasn't even a year before my wife passed away, and I stood by myself and also making the decision, should I stay or should I go? What am I gonna do now? I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna go back to my old lifestyle of what things were then because I knew it wasn't good for me. I wanted to move forward. I wanted to be in God's will. And I, I started praising and asking God to, to help me, to make me strong, to, to take me to a higher level with Him, for I can stay put where I'm at. And I thank the pastor here for helping me also when the time with my wife because money wise I was going through a hard time and the church here was the one of the ones that helped me with money to to bury to do what I had to do for her because she didn't get buried she was cremated but I, I thank the pastor for helping me with those moments and I thank everybody else too that it's been there to support me. But most of all, I'd say is I thank God, giving me the strength, the wisdom, the understanding to keep going forth and not to give up. Giving is, is something that God tells us so much to do, to give ourselves to Him, to trust in Him, to believe in Him, and and to have faith in Him. I encourage a lot of people to go out there and give. Like the Word says, it challenges you to see if it's true or not. Do so, you know. And you see, challenge yourself. Don't just take the challenge from us telling you. Go out there and give the offerings you should be giving and see the blessings as they come to you. And don't just do it to see those blessings and we should all be able to freely give what, what God already gave you. He, he gives you daily things that we are not paying for. Qué historia tan fascinante y poderosa. Y esto es gracias a tu colaboración, que semana tras semana nos ayudas y auspicias cada uno de nuestros ministerios. Gracias por ayudar a nuestra iglesia y por ser parte de Oasis Alcanzando una Vida a la Vez.